Musioc Trail Trailhead of the northern section. There it is. Trail signs in memory of Mary Simpson, MST. Oh. I, think, I think I took a picture of that, uh, of that sign. Yeah. Well, good morning, my fine feathered hiker friends. It is a fantastic day for a little day hike. And so here I am once again on the Nusioc Trail. And this time we are doing a section that has been closed for a long time because of several, or let's just say two or three hurricanes that have uh, come through this uh, woods and caused a lot of blowdowns. And so recently it just opened back up again and me and two other friends are just hiking it. It's uh, maybe only five or six miles to the terminus, the northern terminus, uh, where it ends right there on the Neuse River. And not sure we're gonna go all that way because we're doing a, a point to point. Uh, actually, we're doing a point and then a turnaround and coming back to the car because we'd only have one vehicle today. So anyway, it's a great little section. It's my favorite section, mainly because there's a lot more deciduous trees. It's a little more rolling in the topography. And because of some flooding on the Noose River and some of the tributaries, creeks and such that go into the Noose, I'm not quite sure how much water we're going to encounter, but I will keep you informed that so far temperatures somewhere in the 50s and it's just a great, great day for a day hike. So I'll give you a little bit more of the trail here in a minute. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Little Hike Mike, please do so. And don't forget to hit that bell and that'll alert you as to when I've posted a new one. So again, thanks for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you on the trail, my fine feathered hiker friends. Hey everybody. Thought I'd show you a little bit of the trail. So far it's been fairly flat. We haven't gotten into the rolling section yet. But starting off here, it's quite well maintained and quite wide. You can see my two and your feathered hiker friends up ahead of me there in the distance walking along. This trail is located right down there uh, near the uh, runway of the uh, Cherry Point Air Marine Air Base and uh, You'll hear that. You might even you might be able to even see a jet or two taking off. So I'll talk to you soon. Hey everybody. Came to our first boardwalk heading up north on the northern section. And let's give some thanks to the Carter Carteret Wildlife Club. 2010, so almost 10 years ago they erected this boardwalk. 
and kind of not too water covered. It's been kind of dry for the most part of the summer, although we did get a lot of rain this past uh, month. And we'll come to a creek. And we've gotten into some ferns, large ferns along the water. Hey, my fine feather hiker friends. Uh, we're about ready to hit one of the shelters here. I thought I'd get my camera out and show you. You know, we are in the forest, obviously. Uh, the Croatan National Forest. And on the Nusiak, we just hit mile 17. So I'm glad that the Forest Service has seen fit not to um, clear cut anything close to the Nusiak here. But one of the sources of revenues of the National Forest Service is timber. So, uh, but I'm glad that they've seen fit not to try to take any of these large pines down. Uh, but if any of you know otherwise about the age of some of these, I'd say the circumference around some of them has been I'd say three to four feet on the biggest ones I've seen. Uh, there's one right there. It's probably got a three to four foot circumference, but some of them may be as much as five or six around. The radius is probably, I'm going to say, 24 inches to 36 inches on some of them. But there's other... Uh, deciduous trees in here, which I will try to identify some of those too, but there are quite a few of those. Here's a junction we've come to, I better note that in this one. Pine Cliff is going to be going this way, and that's where the uh, shelter is. So I'll wait for my compadres and make sure they don't take the wrong turn here. Hey, my fine feathered hiker friends. We have come up to the Copperhead Landing Shelter on the northern section of the Nusiak. And it's kind of overlooking a creek that feeds into the Nusiak River, which is on up that direction. And it, uh, <laughs> the ham. Yeah. There he is right there. <laughs> That's a nice little shelter right here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, my GPS says 3.3. I might get onto the water's edge here. I'm sinking down, so I wanted to give you a little bit better view of the creek. But I'm in the water here, so I don't want to get too too far in. Anyway, I'm gonna turn around and go back. Got up on this log and I'm walking down towards the creek. Since I'm a little higher, I'd get a better view for you. There it is.
Well, hello, everybody. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're sitting here eating lunch. Mm -hmm. And this is our view right here. Mm -hmm. but I believe this is our point where we're going to reverse our course and go back the other way and on the other on the back, way back I'm going to do a little videoing of these two guys going through some of that gnarly sections that we just came through so you could see that it's not real easy you won't see me going through but I'm going to be following them I thought it was a <laughs> so what you're looking at, my fine feathered hiker friends, is the Hancock Creek. Now the Cahoochee River feeds into Hancock, and then, as you see on the map, the Hancock feeds into the Noose. Now we're not going to go as far as the Noose River, but but um, we are down here at ground zero, or probably zero elevation as far as uh, feet goes. But we're down here in the swampy area. Hey everybody, got a little closer to the creek here, down by the water. This is Hancock Creek. And it looks like somebody's fishing hole too. Beautiful, beautiful day. This is the gnarly area where we're at. And, uh, go back up that way somewhere. Looks like a nice little place to. Okay, here we are in the gnarly section on our way back. And what this is. Which way do we go? I think we gotta go back that way somehow. There's a marker right here. Okay. But I think we're going the wrong direction if we go that way. Whoops. Yeah, we gotta go. Yeah, I see it back here. I go this way. After you, sir. Where are we going? Just follow the markers. <laughs> okay. Like, 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 Okay. 
pretty gnarly. Person, person could get lost in here. <laughs> Hey everybody, we're on our way back to 306 and we made it up to a point where we could see Hancock Creek at our lunch there and now we're heading back through a gnarly section up to where the shelter was. So this section was well, you want to go in front so you can uh okay. I thought you wanted to video us following through Yeah I wanted to video you guys going through it. Yeah, <laughs> Another blow down. This is what we have to contend with over here. Blow down right here. A little worn path around it. Hiking along the gnarly northern section of the Lusioff Trail. Hancock Creek. Get into some water, Carlos. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos, going well, a different way good. here. <laughs> Your shoes untied too. Mine. Yours, yeah. Yeah. I'll wait. We'll see if your dad makes it. The gnarly, tangled up boardwalk. This section really needs fixed. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's Go ahead. It's moving. Yes, it is. Yeah, just really take your time to here. Because it's like 
point the stick out first before we cross from that. Yeah. This section really needs some maintenance Certainly. done. Just think if these boards were wet. Well, they still are moist. Hey, we made it. There's your step. Yeah. Thanks, John. I love it. There you are, my little fine friend, little gecko, gecko, come on, yeah. <laughs> this is such a beautiful section through here. I bet a lot of these ferns blossom at some point. It'd be nice to be down here when they do. But it's like a swampy section. Rumbly Ridge. I mean bridge. 1995 Cold Wildlife. And hi there, everybody. Let's get My fine feathered hiker friends today. Hey my fine feathered hiker friends. I'm going to wrap this video up now. Uh, we're on our way back to the car and uh, we just came through what I'm going to entitle this video as the northern section the no or the northern gnarly section of the Nusiak Trail or the Nusiak Trail nor Northern Gnarly Section. <laughs> but it was gnarly. And uh, lots of blowdowns, lots of bushwhacking to get around them. Uh, I had fully intended to give an expose of some of the trees that are in this forest, and uh, I couldn't get a signal, an internet signal to be able to go to the app I use to identify a lot of the trees. So I'll have to do that the next time that I do it. But uh, anyway, I wanted to wrap this video up and thank you all for watching. And I hope you subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't had an opportunity yet, if you're ever in Eastern North Carolina, down by Havelock, North Carolina, you can get to the New Seahawk Trail really easily. It's about a 20 mile hike from point to point. It is part of the Mountain to Sea Trail also. So please stop and check it out. So until the next time, I will see you on the trail.